What's the difference between comedic paganism and comedic spirituality? That's what we're going to discuss in this video today. At Tabu Fam, peace and blessings. This is Derek Raku Moore. And um, in this video, we want to go ahead and we want to talk about the difference between comedic paganism and comedic spirituality. Um, first of all, I know it's been a long time since I've gone ahead and made a video like this. Um, that's because basically just going ahead and we're still answering questions and everything. Um, if you have a question out there and it hasn't, you haven't been directly contacted or you haven't seen a video um, that has been, a, you know, sent out or published, I should say, to address that question, um, it's coming. Okay, so just be patient. It is coming. All right. Um, but like I said, we want to go ahead and we talk about comedic paganism. What's the difference between comedic paganism and comedic spirituality? Um, before I begin, I want to go ahead and I want to actually give a shout out to you all. Uh, those of you who went ahead and supported that video of the, you know, about Raw. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I encourage you to go ahead and watch that, mainly because it will kind of give you a little bit of understanding in regards to what commanding spirituality deals with. Okay, if you do have that question, what is the difference between it? Okay, but again, like I said, we want to go ahead, we want to put, make a real short video about this. Um, try to be short, okay, and direct to the point so that, um, you know, you understand what this, the purpose of this channel. Um, part of the reason why I'm going ahead and I'm, I'm making this video is because there's been a lot of people who basically they've been hitting me up and um, some of these people they're asking you know well hey you know uh, what God do I worship or uh, what God do I you know what 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 God will help me with this and and so forth and so on and a lot of these questions that are coming are basically they kind of show uh, or at least you know they they illustrate to me that a lot of people don't even really understand what comedic spirituality is okay so that's the reason why again we're doing this video okay now before I begin I want to go in here and I want to say this is not to shade anybody who is practicing either or all right um, but based upon my experience based upon the people I know who practice um, comedic paganism um, the people based upon, you know, what I've come across and how it's been, you know, presented to me. Um, comedic paganism is a belief system. It basically stems from the Wicca tradition, okay? Uh, and Wicca, you know, basically is a witchcraft, a pagan witchcraft tradition, all right? Now, again, I'm not trying to knock anyone. I'm not trying to throw any shade. Uh, this is just basically my understanding of comedic paganism and what it actually means, okay? Um, but like I said, comedic paganism is a belief system. Um, it is a, a it's also, it, they, they deal with it from a plug and play type of, uh, what we what is called basically in the occult traditions or occult world uh, plug and play and what I mean by that is if you go ahead and you read about the you know read the, the legends you read the comedic legends or so let's say for instance you like you know you're reading the legends and you come across Isis and you're like hey well I like Isis okay I like how Isis gets down. I like what she does. Okay. Um, I like that, that feminine quality about Isis. You know, the name of Isis, it just goes ahead and it just, you know, it, it, it rubs me the right way. Okay. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you, you, you basically, you get a vibe and you're like, hey, I like Isis. Okay. Well, you go ahead and you erect a shrine or erect the altar and then you you know you give offerings to Isis and you know in in regards to Isis going ahead and giving you things back now 
I'm using the Greek names because this is what a lot of the comedic pagans do, okay? Um, the comedic pagans, they refer to the natural as gods and goddesses, okay? Um, and typically, they use the Greek names of the natural, okay? Now, I don't know the whole history of how comedic paganism evolved, um, but just the very mention of the fact that they're using the Greek names, it deals with witchcraft, you know, deals with, you know, like I said, comedic witchcraft. That's what we were, the Wiccan tradition, and, you know, ha that has been, I guess, syncretized with comedic, you know, the comedic tradition. Um, but they deal with it from that perspective. And because of that, um, you kind of get a, I kind of get the hint that that's where the origin comes from. It comes from out of Europe, okay? And if you go back and you actually look at um, some of the history of, you know, the, the Kemetic temples and how far Kemetic, you know, the Kemetic religion actually spread, um, there were temples, from my understanding, that did exist in Europe, that did exist in, you know, in Greece and in other parts of, you know, higher up, okay, in um, some of the European countries, okay. So that's what Kemetic paganism is. Um, it's a belief system, okay, a um, belief system where they can, you know, if they like the way a deity gets down, you know, again, I'm using the word deity because that's what they use. But if they like the way a deity gets down, they go ahead, hey, we're going to go ahead and we're going to worship that deity. And that's how they look at it. We're going to worship that deity. We're going to give some offers to that deity so that that deity goes ahead and it gives me some help. Okay. Um, it is a, a quid pro quo type of, uh, you know, relationship that they develop with the you know, the, the gods and goddesses, again, using that term because that's what they refer to them as, uh, the comedic gods and goddesses. Um, and for the most part, that's it, okay? Comedic spirituality, on the other hand, is a completely different, uh, it's a completely different thing, okay? Very, very different from comedic paganism, okay? Um, comedic spirituality, and I'm trying to speak in general because there's different paths in comedic spirituality, okay? Different uh, uh, approaches that are, um, that are, you know, dealt with in comedic spirituality, okay? Um, but comedic spirituality, like I said, it is more of a way of life, okay? So, again, comedic paganism is more of a belief system, whereas comedic spirituality is more of a way of life, okay? Now, to kind of give you a, a, a hint about that way of life, give you an idea what I mean when I say a way of life, um, most people who practice comedic spirituality, they would tell you, we incarnate to this, to this physical plane, okay? Um, there's no reason for us to be here. I mean, have you seen the news lately? I mean, it's like there's a whole lot of hell breaking loose, okay? So it's like, why else would we be here? We're, you know, what, what's the purpose of us being here? From a comedic spiritual perspective, the purpose of us being here is for us to learn how to you know, again, we're here to develop our divinity. We're here to develop our God powers, our God and goddess powers, uh, so that we can become stronger, more powerful ancestors or ancestral spirits, okay? Or gods and goddesses, okay? Now, depending upon which path that we, you know, that you deal with in regards to comedic spirituality, um, it all basically deals with elevating your consciousness. It all deals with elevating your, yeah, elevating your, your state of being, okay? Um, 
some comedic spiritual paths will say they're trying to become moral seer, which is equivalent to becoming Christ-like. Some comedic um, spiritual practitioners will say they're trying to elevate their consciousness or they're trying to achieve an Amen state. Okay, um, Amen is um, a man is the, the, and I'm saying a man, A-M-U-N, okay, also spelled A-M-E-N, is the highest state of being. Um, it's equivalent to your, in the Hindu traditions, it's equivalent to Nirvana, um, or I believe it's Samadhi, okay? So you're trying to achieve that a man state, okay? A man state of being in which nothing affects you, okay? Um, some people are trying to go ahead and from a, you know, on some comedic spiritual paths, you're trying to go ahead and raise your consciousness to the point that everything's in balance. Okay. You're trying to live your life according to, according to, uh, Ma. All right. Um, so as you can see, all three of those or three or four of those different paths in which I've named, they all deal with a form of elevating your consciousness. Okay, and this is partially because, from a comedic spiritual perspective, this plane, this physical plane that we are on, is governed by set. It is, if you look at it from a metaphysical perspective, um, and you understand how energy flows, this physical plane is 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 a material. It's called the material plane for a reason. Okay. Uh, it is ruled by, like I said, it's ruled by set. It's governed by set. It is a, uh, it is a plane that is totally controlled by, uh, what do you call it? You know, it's tro totally ego driven. Okay. It is dealing with your lower nature, your lower self. So as I was saying, no one really wants to be here when you're practicing comedic spirituality because we're like, gosh, this is, you know, this is a horrible state of being, all right? It is a horrible state of being. And if you look at it from just a strictly secular perspective, then it's like, it explains the reason why there's so much misery here, all right? But it makes you ask that question then why are we here? You know, what's the purpose of us being here if it is so full of dread? Well, it's because we're here to develop our spiritual powers. We're here to develop our, our, our spiritual being, okay? Uh, we, we, you know, like I said, to become, and people have different interpretations. They'll say, you know, different ways of this. Um, but, you know, speaking for myself, we're here to become greater ancestors, okay? Which is the equivalent of basically becoming a god or goddess. So we're a living god or goddess on this planet or on this physical plane is basically the equivalent of becoming a truly an ancestor, all right? So that's why we're here. So what do you mean by that? You know, what do I mean? You're, you're, you're here to go ahead and develop your spiritual powers and all that. What do I mean by that? Well, as I was saying, in comedic paganism, they go ahead and they pick and choose which deity they choose to work with, okay? Um, based upon, hey, I like this deity. I don't like this deity, you know, um, so forth and so on, Okay. In comedic spirituality, it doesn't work that way, okay? And the reason why is because it's all, all of the Neturu are here to assist. All of the Neturu are, are you know, are trying to help us um, to, you know, to develop our consciousness, to raise and elevate ourselves, okay? While at the same time, we're elevating them, all right? There's a, yeah, I didn't mention that. There's a dependency between the Neturu and ourselves. They need us just as much as we need them, okay? So, 
if for instance okay like i said there is no plugging and playing when it comes to dealing with the natural okay if i went in here and i said hey you know i'm about to leave out okay um i'm 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 about to get in the car and going to work or whatever the case is you know and here it is it's monday morning or maybe you know yeah it's monday morning or so we'll use that stick with that example it's monday morning okay i'm making some offerings to my impu or my impus okay so that they open the way and we have some opportunities and all this you know all these other you know uh, uh good luck factors and, and things that are going to take place it's not a plug and play that i'm doing okay i'm working with those i'm working with that spirit or those spirits so that they can go ahead and they work with me all right so even though we're talking about working with the, you know, we're talking about working with the natural, you're actually, when you're working with the natural, the natural are also working with you. They're helping you to understand certain things. They're helping you to develop and helping you to grow. So, for instance, if I'm going to here and I'm making an offers to, you know, to improve, open the way, and this and that and the other, you know, please open the way. Uh, so that we can go in here and we can have some prosperity, have some good luck in the house and so forth and so on. Okay. Guess who's talking to me throughout the rest of that day or who's talking to me throughout the rest of that week or so in regards to making sure that I am going in here and I'm, I'm watching, I'm being observant and looking for opportunities and so forth and so on. I'm, I'm guarding myself. I, I'm wearing, you know, it, I'm not sure if you understand it, but I'm wearing that dog-headed mask now, okay? Because the Neturu are part of us and we are a part of them, okay? So the key difference between comedic spirituality and comedic paganism is that comedic spirituality is a way of life, all right? We don't, we don't pick and choose which natures to work with, okay? We pick and choose, if anything, if we're going to work with them in order for us to elevate our consciousness, in order for us to elevate our, our, our being, okay? That's how we work with them, all right? And that right there, like I said, I don't... If you, again, if you understand that, okay, and you keep in mind that this plane that we're in is the, it's the lowest of the raw manifestation, okay? So it's a it's a physical matter plane, all right? This is the reason why you're here. You're here to grow, okay? So whenever we're working with the natural, whenever we're dealing with the natural, we're not worshiping them. We're actually working with them and they're working with us in order to help us to elevate our consciousness or our awareness again so that we can go ahead and we can become, not become, but so that we can go ahead and be, well, and become, you know, um, like I said, better ancestors, okay? Better and stronger, more powerful ancestors. That would go ahead and we can, you know, we can go ahead and we can answer, you know, petitions and, and, and things or be emissaries or be ambassadors for the divine, for our loved ones. Okay, so you can see there's two different approaches. Okay, two different, a, a completely different approach and a completely different way of thinking when it comes to comedic spirituality versus dealing with it from a comedic paganism perspective. Okay, um, again, we 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 practice magic. Yes, we do magic. Okay, but we don't do witchcraft. Okay, this is not. This is about elevating ourselves, all right? This is about elevating our loved ones, elevating, you know, our folks, okay? Elevating our, our people, all right? Um, and eventually, you know, I want to go ahead, I don't want to get sound cheesy, but uh, yeah, elevating, <laughs> elevating the, the entire world for that matter, okay? With that way of doing things, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Um, 
Again, if you got any questions or comments or suggestions, feel free to drop me a line, okay? Um, until next time, have to pull. Peace. Don't pretend it.